version of my higher self, please be here with me today. Assist me in channeling messages for the collective. Protect me from all and any evil, malicious intent, frequencies, vibrations, or in any kinds of witchcraft. To be sent right back to the sender. I do not consent to any negative energies and send them away. Please neutralize the space. Please harmonize this space. Connect it to pure, true, sovereign love and light only and no other. Protect my viewers from more and any evil, malicious, intense frequencies or vibrations. And send all that negativity away into ether now and immediately. Please bring in the pure, true, sovereign love and light. Bring in the pure, true, sovereign love and light. Fill up the space with pure, true, sovereign love and light. Only and no other. Only and no other. Please be here with me today, benevolent beings of the universe, to help me channel for the collective. In the name of all that is. And so it is. Hello, my loves. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's reading, okay? So, for today's topic, we're going to be exploring the question, why did you dream of them, okay? Sometimes people show up and we're wondering, is it a message from them? Is it just our subconscious mind trying to tell us something, trying to warn us about something? So, whatever your reason for being here today okay you're wondering why this person is showing up in your dreams so we're going to have a look today so for the first pile we have group number one okay with this opalite crystal for group number two we have this gorgeous obsidian for group number three we have the beautiful moonstone okay so take your time okay feel into your body feel what you resonate with see what power draws you in and connect with that and just trust your gut okay that's all you have to do my love so the timestamps will be in the description below as well as in the comments and as usual if you are interested in a personal reading the link will be in the description below to see how you can do that but without any further ado let's get into it my loves hello my loves welcome group number one welcome to your reading okay so whether you've resonated with this opalite crystal or the planetary card pluto welcome to your reading okay so if you've chosen pluto now for the question why did you dream about them you know pluto being here it already tells me that whoever you're dreaming about they they showed up in your dreams because they're calling you towards a transformation okay they're calling you to face a deeper more buried aspect of yourself that you're not so conscious about hence it's showing up in your dream world when your subconscious mind is um, able to be the most active you know in this state we're able to fully become aware of um you know certain patterns and belief systems that we have going on and this is strongly coming through here that whatever whatever you're dreaming about it's calling towards deep transformation here but also with pluto being here i don't feel like the dreams you're having are pleasant in fact i actually feel like they're a warning okay because Pluto rules the underworld. Um, it's again, it's all about the things we can't see. So for you to resonate with Pluto here, it's is telling me that you know something about the situation you have going on with whoever you're inquiring about, and you know that there's some um, not so positive aspects to that situation. I would say to just take a note of that. For future reference and actually start getting prepared um to deal with anything you feel like you might have to confront with pluto being here because pluto's a warrior he's all about strength okay so it's telling me that you know you need to gain all your strength back gain your willpower back so that you're able to deal with whatever resistance and fears that you have okay 
because I, I can feel the resistance from some of you just listening to my message now. And, you know, this is not a negative message. In fact, this is a really positive one. It's telling me that you're ready to, to go towards the next step in your in your journey, in your ascension, in your awakening, okay? And it, it, it's not a comfortable process. In fact, if you've chosen Pluto, I have to say, I resonate, I, I just feel like saying you're the chosen one, okay? You're, you're chosen for a bigger purpose here on Earth, for whatever reason you're dreaming um, about this person. It's calling you to step into that purpose. And what does that mean, you know, to step, uh, to, to be the chosen one, to have a bigger purpose, okay? Because um, I, I don't throw these terms around lightly. What I mean by that is you have, you have a lot of responsibilities and you face darkness in your life. And you have to transform that. You could even be a Scorpio. I'm also picking up on Sagittarius and energy and Aries energy while I'm watching this. Okay, uh, while I'm watching this, while I'm recording this. Okay, um, I just feel it. I just feel it very strongly coming through. Okay, but the reason this person is showing up in your dreams, they're letting you know you have to prepare about something, and part of this preparation is going to help you further embody your destiny and your life purpose. This person, you, you could, okay, you could even be dreaming about um, whether you resonate this or not. You know, it's, it's completely up to you, but I feel called to say twin flame. Maybe you've met someone who you feel like is a twin flame and you're in separation. And now you constantly keep dreaming about them. It's because they're calling you to face the deeper aspects of yourself, to surrender and to let go of control of trying to, you know, make things go your way, my way or the highway. This is not how life works, my love, okay? And when Pluto shows up, he's asking you to surrender. Surrender to whatever external circumstances you have and find your inner power because Pluto's all about gaining your power back, okay? When you consciously work on what you have to do on a daily basis in order to gain your power back, you're working with Plutonian energy here, okay? Except you're using your power for good. You're empowering yourself so that you're able to face the challenges which will come to further shape you into your, you know, who you're meant to be, which is your authentic self. But to find our authentic selves, we need to go past the layers of um, deception uh, which we've placed upon ourselves, okay, which society has placed upon us and all the manipulation. Pluto's about truth. So I, I have to say, I do feel like you guys have a habit of manipulating yourselves in negative ways, like maybe lying to yourselves in some ways, because Pluto's calling you here to see the truth. He's always here to see the truth. And I feel like some of you are even paranoid. Uh, some of you watching this are truth seekers and you always want to do right. You always want to be in your truth, right? And you're a bit paranoid. And Pluto's, Pluto's actually being very gentle with you. By showing up in this reading, he's letting you know, look, you're having all these dreams. What are you noticing in them? What's, cons what's consistent about these dreams here? You know? Um, because, because there's, I feel like your dreams have a pattern to them. This power may be a power where you keep having the same theme come up over and over again. And you're wondering, why am I dreaming about this person? You could literally be dreaming about anyone. But again, I did feel called to say a twin flame. I feel like you've gone through a massive spiritual awakening last year. And it's, um, things are starting to get lighter now, but they're still intense, because again, Pluto, Pluto's, uh, even in his most gentle expression, he's still a bit harsh compared to the other planets, right? Um, but again, him showing up here, he's warning you, he's letting you know, prepare for whatever you think you need to prepare for. Face the fears one by one. Don't overwhelm yourself, but face your fears in a way that's empowering to you. I'm going to say that again. Face your fears in a way that is empowering to you. And that may look like small steps on a daily basis. 
to find out what kind of pattern you have going on that makes you get into certain situations okay this is what i feel called to say my loves now i'm going to get um the astro dice here okay the astro dice one has a planet on them one has a zodiac one has uh numbers on it which i will either interpret as a numerological like in the numerological sense or in the astrological sense as one of the houses so okay let's see why did group number one dream about this person spirit please show me the truth and nothing but the truth please show me okay here we have aquarius energy and oh goodness i'm pretty sure this is uh neptune here okay this is neptunian energy with aquarius being here and number four okay number four so i feel called to interpret this number in a numerological sense with number four being all about foundations rebuilding it, it it's actually kind of like a tower moment okay um life path four is kind of like you always have to consider what foundations you're building are you are you building your foundations based on authenticity are you building your assumptions and your beliefs belief systems based on the truth okay based on the actual objective truth because this is what pluto is about it's 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 not our subjective truth it's about the truth of the situation facing that first so then we can actually have a real and authentic subjective perception over what's going on okay and with aquarius being here you know this is about you expanding your mind this is about you um, being open to what's new, especially a new perspective, okay? Maybe if, if you've been stuck in seeing something a certain way, Aquarius energy here is asking us to expand our perspective and the way we see a certain person or a situation. I think some of you are definitely in separation with someone, whether that's a family member, especially because this is the fourth house. This could be the fourth house in your in your astrological chart, which is about roots. It's about family, you know. So maybe you could have um, argued with a family member or something like that going on here where there's a bit of tension. OK, um, I, I certainly feel like there's tension between you and whoever this person is that you're dreaming about here. And with Neptune being here, I think you're in a very confusing situation with them where things are not clear. OK, so I'm going to be having a look now as to, you know, why again, why is this person showing up in your dreams? And, you know, what is what is the dream trying to tell you more, more precisely? OK. So I'm going to get the angel number oracle decks here, oracle deck here, okay, and I'm going to be asking spirit, okay, for group number one, please show me, why is group number one dreaming about this person here, why is group number one dreaming about this person, okay, and what is the dream, what is this dream trying to tell them? The dreams that they're having about this person. Okay, the first card we have is 1212, Persistence. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get two more. Okay, so why is group number one dreaming about their person? Please show me, Spirit. What are their dreams trying to tell them? What are their dreams trying to tell them? Okay, please show me, Spirit. blessing in disguise 444 4444 that came out four times yeah and you have the number four on the astro dice as well so you know that could definitely be a relevant number for you but again these angel numbers could could also just help you to confirm you're at the right reading if you've been seeing um you know particular particular numbers but anyway please show me spirit why did group number one why does group number one keep having these dreams about this person? Why are they showing up? What are these dreams trying to tell them? Let's see. Readjustment, 1616. Okay, we have very interesting numbers here. Okay, these are... Okay, yeah. Number two is to do with the moon. Number six is to do with Venus. 
okay and number four is to do with um with your with your destiny with with rahu with the north node so if you're into astrology that was uh that was just a little thing over there that might help you gain a better understanding of your reading by me 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 by me mentioning that okay oh my goodness um but anyway so with persistence being here okay and with blessing in the skies being here I think this dream is trying to tell you, well, the dreams that you're having, they're trying to tell you to not give up, okay? That might seem quite dark, but th there's a level here of, like, you thinking about someone a lot as a form of escapism to kind of take you further, okay? And in a sense, this is good, but at the same time, it's like, even though the dreams you may be having are nightmares, they're actually, they're actually just helping you realize how much fear you still need to get over. And you need to face that fear, okay? And you need to confidently make adjustments so that, let's say, I feel called to say this, let's say there's someone you want back in your life. There's certain adjustments here that have to be made my love there's certain adjustments that have to be made so that you and this person can be in alignment because i'm not even sure you fully want this person i feel like you've created a fantasy of them here okay but at the same time it's like this this fantasy in a way is not going to come true your dreams of being back in contact with this person or with whoever you're asking about you know like unless unless changes are made you're not they're not going to show up in the way you want or you're just not going to be ready for it when they do show up so the separation and the and the negative dreams they're a blessing in disguise i would say this is about the dreams you're having are a message from your subconscious more than more than from this person here i don't think this person is trying to communicate with you um as i feel like there's a there's a somewhat telepathic link especially with neptune showing up but i don't think that they're trying to send you any particular messages but i i do feel like this person um is really good at triggering you okay and so you have to you know leave the spiritual bypassing okay if you don't know what that term means it's essentially using spirituality purely as a form of escapism and not actually applying the knowledge you have and you know we've all gone through stages like that and this is not to shame anybody however if you know you need to do something do it to uh, to call in the transformation and to integrate it you know you could pretty much leave this video now if you're like okay i get it i'm gonna go work on that if you feel like this message was enough for you, you can pretty much click out now but for the rest of you who feel like you still need more clarity i'm gonna keep going and let's see what else you have going on um, in your subconscious, whatever this dream is trying to tell you, um, whatever this dream is trying to tell you here. So again, readjustments, overcoming obstacles, soulmate, romance, affection, support, and comfort. Okay, so as I said, I was picking up on that um, very contractual energy of like, you know, twin flame or soulmate, or but mostly twin flame, because I feel like this is really triggering. Okay, and again i feel like if you want this person back in your reality there's deep deep work you have to do in the separation some of you may realize certain things you're not comfortable with about yourself and about this person during the separation okay and these dreams that they're, they're trying to tell you again that if you want someone back or if you want peace within a situation there's certain uh, things you have to face within yourself to find that peace first okay um but anyway let's move on to the tarot now so i'm using the doodle tarot today it's like a really cute stick man figure drawing kind of tarot and i was like okay let's do this please show me spirit why is group number one dreaming about their person why is group number one dreaming about their person? What are their dreams trying to tell them? What are their dreams trying to tell them, spirit? For group number one, what are their dreams trying to tell them? The four of cups. 
Mm, you're just waiting for a miracle to happen, my love. But you're the remedy. You are that miracle, you know? Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's keep going. Please show me, spirit. Show me the truth and nothing but the truth. Why is group number one dreaming of this person? What are their dreams trying to tell them? What? Okay, I feel like even during the day, you guys have a habit of daydreaming, um, you know, and that that's what i'm picking up on like your mind just wanders into the future thinking about the possibilities but you're not grounding anything it's like you're ignoring everything else around you and just focusing on this fantasy you've created here okay so i'm gently and pluto is gently calling you back into the world okay so that you can slowly but surely face um face the truth okay with strength being here okay the dreams are telling you that you need to find your inner strength because if you're afraid of the lion and you feel like the lion's gonna eat you the lion is gonna eat you but if you feel like you have the strength to tame that lion then that lion is going to be tamed so again it's 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 actually about you empowering yourself as well and not just giving up all all control to either just the universe expecting the universe to do something or just expecting the person to show up you know some adjustments have to be made especially in terms of your energy in terms of your vibration here and this isn't um me saying meditate all day no this is me saying um you know start the routine you said you were going to start um you know follow through with going to the gym um doing things like that which will create permanent transformation permanent change within you so that you're you're no longer going to go back to a version of yourself that's no longer serving you so this is why this person showing up in your dreams that they're, they're saying you want me in your life well you know you better transform you better change if you if you want me because even if i come to you you might not be ready to even face me you might not even be ready oh okay okay hold on nine of swords in reverse okay look facing fear extreme regret accept help i feel like i i have to say i feel like some of you watching are even going to be in like a third party situation um or like the person you're dealing with is is taken and you um kind of have like a thing for them going on i'm picking up on that for some of you and there's um you know there's different stages of our lives where we have to go through these soul lessons you could say and again part of it is again it's purely for our, for our own good so that we can see why we got ourselves into certain situations uh what belief systems do we have where we're attracting unavailable people because i feel like this is what we're dealing with here okay you guys have a pattern of, of attracting unavailable people um but again look this is this nine of swords in reverse is about facing the fears within yourself so you stop having these dreams okay you can start doing the shadow work now literally you can start doing the shadow work and it's going to this was the back of the deck energy six of wands you're going to be victorious by the end of it so if you feel like you're not strong enough to face your fears or to to face your own subconscious mind yes you are you know, this is why you're at this reading, because you are strong enough. Because if you want certain people, places and things to show up in reality, the inner world, the inner reality must be changed and transformed, okay? So, now I'm going to get into another oracle deck, okay? Please show me, spirit, why is group number one dreaming about this person? What are the dreams trying to tell them here? look abundance i am a limitless being and i can manifest whatever i desire in this physical reality you need to embody this abundance mindset but and i feel like you want to and i feel like you try but nothing's working like i see some of you repeating affirmations doing affirmations every day and you feel like it's not getting you anywhere and it's because you don't believe in them because it's it's kind of like trying to put on deodorant after you've uh, gone for a run or like after you're sweaty and dirty it's like you're trying to put perfume on top of the dirt and that perfume is not going to be as effective as it would be if you would have actually taken the shower so this is the same concept here but with your internal world and with your belief system so you need to clear through the baggage of your subconscious 
okay um try some hypnotherapy uh there's a lot of free hip, um, hypnosis resources um on youtube and i myself i'm going to um start posting more meditations in the future and um to help you guys out with with stuff like this you know but let's have a look okay please show me spirit why is group number one dreaming about this person what are their dreams trying to tell them the abundance is gonna come that six of wands victory is gonna you know it's it's gonna show up but first you need to you need to get through pluto first think about pluto like a guardian um you know protecting a, a a treasure chest full of gold and you kind of have to pass the test before you uh, you're able to get to the goods okay look judgment okay i understand that everyone has their own unique paths and challenges so this is about opening up your mind expanding your mind and your perspective and not just being stuck and seeing things one way but actually being observant and asking yourself um from multiple perspectives how how something can be true or not be true and then you and then you resonate to a certain core truth and then you know okay this is the this is the judgment i have to make this is what what's truly going on here that's going to serve me and everyone else involved patience i accept that everything happens in divine order and i feel like this patience here is um is to do with you being just being patient with yourself in this process and knowing that things show up in divine timing it's about letting go of the fear of control okay and for you my loves group number one i'm going to list a meditation in the comments that will help you with letting go of this fear of control okay because when you let go of the fear of control you have the clarity you need to observe situations as they are to observe yourself as you are to see the world for what it is okay so this was my message for you, my love. I really hope you enjoyed the reading. And if you did, I would really appreciate a subscription as it does help me out. It helps me to carry on doing this for you. Uh, you know, thumbs up. Let me know how you resonated. Let me know what you think. And again, you know, I'm going to post that meditation um, down below and, you know, check it out. It's for your own good. But anyway, uh, wishing you all so much love and light and see you. Hello, my loves. Group number two, welcome to your reading. You know, why did you dream about this person? Whether you resonated with the subsidian or the planetary card soul, welcome to your reading. Okay, let me just get the dice here. These were from group number one. I sage the space, I clear the space before starting your reading, so don't worry about that. But anyway, with soul being here as to why you dreamt about this person is telling me that good things are on the way this is a good omen with the sun being here i i feel like a new pathway is being opened up for you i feel like you've done the hard work you've done the inner work and now i feel like you guys are ready to welcome the good into your life but you know because you you've chosen the the obsidian there's a level of protection you need to have um especially before you go to sleep i feel like you guys could have quite random dreams um i i i don't i don't i don't feel a consistency here um but i feel like your dreams are trying to lead you to the right path but also to keep you on the right path and and I also feel called to say that you guys need to set an intention before you go to sleep. I think you guys do a lot of astral traveling without realizing. And, you know, setting an intention before you sleep so that you're protected in the astral realm. So that you're guided to the, you know, to the positive dimensions only and no other. And it's very, uh, very specific. You have to say only and no other. Because otherwise you're opening yourself up to more possibilities. So... Be very conscious of your intent before you go to sleep. I feel like you guys are prone to getting like ast astrally attacked and getting your energy drained. And maybe maybe you even wake up tired. Okay, because the sun is all about vitality. So I feel in a way that you're the reason you keep dreaming about this person is because I, I, I feel two things here. Um the first thing is I see a new pathway opening up for you, as I said. I see good things coming. I see I see this as a good sign with the sun being here. But I also feel like this is about you becoming aware because the sun is about enlightenment. It's about realizations. 
um, but it's actually also honoring those realizations and being confident about them. Um, and also, you know, um, again, something very strongly I feel called to say about protecting yourself and protecting your energy or having some kind of ritual before you go sleep, maybe even setting intentions as to what you um, what you want your dreams to show you and communicate to you before sleep. OK, so that's very relevant here. I feel like um, I feel like you guys are a bit further ahead in, um, on your journey and you know everyone's at different um different stages um but i feel like i just feel this energy of um you know like the life path being further ahead you know of you progressing and so with that being the case you know the more you progress the more things get specific and things get detailed even in the spiritual sense some things may need to be reinvented um you know for you to resonate with them and for them to benefit you but here's the thing i'm gonna get the angel oracle no actually no before i get the angel oracle cards let's have a look at the astro dice and let's see why why you keep dreaming about this person okay because i'm i'm hesitant to say this um and i just want a bit more confirmation before i say something i want to say um because i feel like i feel like i see a very definite reunion if you're not speaking to whoever this is i i feel like i have to say that i see you definitely reconciling or like bumping heads or just meeting uh into this person whoever you're dreaming about i don't think i don't think it's over between um between you and whoever you're asking about okay so why is group number two dreaming about this person please show me spirit the truth and nothing but the truth why is group number two dreaming about this person we have gemini energy we have venus energy here and then we have the number two so i i do feel like a lot of you will be asking about romantic interest here but with Venus coming up here, it's also telling me that, you know, there's more compassion you need to find for whatever mistake this person has made with you if you want a reconciliation. And with Gemini energy is about duality here. Um, okay, Gemini energy is about duality and it's also about socializing. So I feel like actually for time for, for some of you, um, this feels like a very kind of soon energy. Like it's going to happen soon that you and this person, whoever you're asking about, you're going to be getting back in touch with them because Venus, um, Venus is about the relationships we have around us, but it's also to do with being more loving and compassionate. And with Gemini being here, Gemini is a very social sign. They love interaction, you know. So with Venus and Gemini being here, I think you're going to talk to this person soon. And in a way, this is saying, um, like, get ready for that and just be aware of that. And I think some of you guys already know, but this is just a confirmation. And this is the confirmation I was waiting to say, um, like waiting for to confirm that I was picking up that you're going to have some sort of, yeah, reconciliation with someone. It, it did show up even in the astral dice. So, you know, with number two being here, again, there's gemini and then number two it's about duality so i feel like whoever you're asking about it's about like acknowledging all sides of them so not just seeing the dark but also seeing the light and not just seeing the light but also seeing the dark and letting these things coexist and also asking yourself how much are you willing to compromise on your dreams like your actual um, actual dreams, things you want to accomplish. How much are you willing to compromise on that in order to have certain people in your life? Um, because I, I feel like if you guys are in a separation of someone romantic, it's because there was some kind of mishap or misunderstanding, miscommunication, but also um, like there was an, an, an alignment of values here. Like something put you guys on your separate paths or something like that's going on here but i do i do feel like this is a really good omen especially for those of you in a relationship right now this could lead um into marriage like i definitely see that 
and it's it's not light for me to say statements like that okay i don't like to lead people into delusion into fantasy and i know a lot of tarot readers like to do that personally i'm not one of them so i'm gonna tell you the truth i'm gonna say it how it is okay um and with the sun being here it's i i just see um like flowers opening up like just a lot of goodness coming through okay so i'm gonna get the angel oracle cards now please show me spirit the truth and nothing but the truth why is group number two dreaming about this person what do their dreams mean why is group number two dreaming about this person here we have the void oh some of you really miss this person and i think they're i think they're missing you too as well i have to say that i think they're missing you too as well with with you know longing being here um and again look the number two the number two being here and the number two is actually the number of um it's the number of the moon and again the moon has um you know different phases it changes and and it's like there's different different sides um to the moon you know and there's different sides sides to this person's personality that i feel like you have to come to terms with and peace with um as well and i do feel like a lot of you watching this power will, are in a relationship and you're um asking for confirmation and i feel like the person you're asking about um is very they have good intentions but i feel like sometimes you just don't understand them and their mind and their way of thinking with gemini being here with the with the number two uh, ruling the moon being here you know it, it's like this person um really has different sides to them and i think you're scared of further commitment you know because you, you're thinking okay what side is going to come out uh, once we're married or something like that okay please show me spirit for group number two why are they dreaming about this person and um whew, again take what resonates this is a general reading so if you always want something more specific you can always book a reading with me by checking the description below but anyway why is group number two dreaming about their person please show me spirit why is group number two dreaming about this person? Please show me, spirit. Why is group number two dreaming about their person, please? Great shift, 1122. Personal growth, spiritual development and manifesting goals, oneness, connection and completion. So I think, as I said, yeah, good, good things will be coming into your life very good things and you see how 11 22 they're like a pair okay so if you're asking about a relationship this could mean again reconciliation or just things developing further but it's definitely a good sign here you're gonna reach some kind of positive agreement positive resolution in whatever situation you're facing okay and you're uh, and there's going to be a lot of of goodness and expansion and the things you've been wanting to manifest they'll be coming in and i feel like uh, your dreams um, they're a sign to get you ready for that i don't feel like your dreams are unpleasant i feel like only for a small number of you they're unpleasant but i feel like for the most part they're good and that's actually why they're scaring you and, and you're thinking like why why am i having these positive dreams like that like what like you don't want to be delusional about it i feel so you know i hope this brings you clarity um i i do feel like it's good look the big break innovation focus creation progress forward movement skills and goals an opportunity help extra cash or other support is coming your way so keep going and have fun when performing your tasks the most tremendous success is the most tremendous success comes from passion all efforts will be rewarded big time okay so you guys as i said at the beginning of the reading uh just when i was analyzing the oracle i could feel you guys like having done the hard work already you're about to reap um some great manifestations for yourself you're about to receive um so much goodness um and again i feel like if you're in separation you're going to definitely um f you know find this person back into your life in some way if you want them but again there's a positive energy here um and there's a there's a lot of good coming in for you and if you're single you're gonna have um you know maybe maybe there's someone you don't know that you're dreaming about and this is why you're here and uh if that's the case like it could very well be your next romantic partner i, I do feel that you guys um so let's have a look please show me spirit why is group number two dreaming about this person what are their dreams trying to tell them 
three of wands see guys look forward to the future look forward to your future it's it's really good things coming through look adventure foresight opportunity success Ooh, receive that goodness receive that positive intention i'm getting energized with this pile my goodness such good energy here please show me spirit please show me for group number two why are they dreaming about this person here why is group number two dreaming about this person what are the dreams trying to tell them for group number two please for group number two please and here we have the sun in reverse okay and i think you guys are just not optimistic enough and and your dreams are trying to tell you you can be more optimistic like you can do that because it's a way for you to receive the good and you know doing things like a gratitude practice will be really good for you to be more optimistic okay look negativity depression sadness false positivity guys tune in to the truth of your heart and then you're going to naturally feel the gratitude you're naturally going to feel the light and again i feel like you guys like to be realists you guys do not like fakeness i feel that with this pile and if you know if that's the case and it's like you know a way for you to feel safe is again with this gemini energy considering all sides of a situation okay seeing the truth for what it is that way you can feel safe and that way you know okay like i know the truth within my mind but I should not let that stop me from enjoying the present moment and life as it is. Again, because good, good things are on the way for you. Okay, and you need to learn how to receive them. Okay, this is why you're dreaming about this person. It's like you need to energetically uh, align yourself with more happiness. Even because it's like your the karma, the good karma is coming. But you actually want to enjoy it when it does come, you know. <laughs> so you need to enjoy it first without any attachments and expectations but the, but you know you can expect good things because they will come you know um and this isn't to hype you up for no reasons of course in life there's always going to be um you know in and yang in every situation but it, it doesn't mean we should let the just because the negative side exists doesn't mean we should let it stop us from also seeing the positive here okay so be more be more optimistic you guys I know you guys are very disciplined. You like to do the hard work. Like I, f I feel that with this pile. Very organized people. Uh, or if you're if you're not that way naturally, if you've been working hard on that, like I see it. Um, I see it come into embodiment for you. Like I see it actualizing. I see it uh, be something more consistent for you. Uh, you know, you being organized with the six of pentacles in reverse. It's again. It's this is about you not being able to receive. So you're, the reason you're dreaming about this person is because they're telling you, like, get ready to receive um, the goodness, including whoever they are. You know, if it's like this person might even propose to you, this person might be contemplating marriage with you, and you need to prepare yourself for that. This is what I'm picking up on. Like, for those of you in relationships, or even for those of you who aren't in relationships, it's like there's a further you're going to get the chance to take your commitment to the next level okay to put it to put it more clearly to put it more bluntly okay there's going to be an opportunity here where success with this person um okay for for many of you it's with this person okay like 90 percent of you in this reading you're gonna face some kind of positive resolution with whoever you're dreaming about but also you're going to be getting good karma for all the um you know all the good things you've been doing to yourself to others um you're, you're going to be get getting some reward but you need to learn how to receive it and to um you know to be very radically honest about reality and honesty does not does not always mean um negativity it means seeing seeing both sides of a situation seeing both sides to things as they are and choosing to feel gratitude okay gratitude for for what the the negative side teaches you and fe feeling gratitude for how the positive uh, you know the positive side of creation you know seeing both creation and destruction as use useful phases of of life and of manifestation here okay so um again aligning with optimism look page of wands like you're about to embark on a new phase in your life you know new journeys be fearless be more optimistic allow yourself to enjoy life more 
group number two have you guys ever had those annoying annoying men kind of tell you like you need to smile more like why 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 are you not smiling i feel like this has happened to you guys like this group i feel like people say that to you like why are you not smiling more and now i'm gonna tell you that like why are you not smiling more <laughs> And you know, people used to say that to me all the time. And now I am smiling more, even though it annoyed me at the time. Like, mind your own business, you know. But when you when you smile more, when you just allow yourself to enjoy life more, just for your just for your own sake, um, you're gonna fill the void that you feel inside. And um, you know, you you you're just going to allow yourself to just you know be happy and and just know there's more to life than any kind of sadness you've been facing up until now all these hard lessons and journeys now you need to also learn how to accept the good things about life and look six of wands this came up for uh, for power number one as well um and with six of wands being here it's like victory has come victory is finding you the good news is finding you allow yourself to be put on a pedestal allow yourself to be venerated for your success allow people to spoil you um whatever it is you guys it's like it's good whatever it is it's good this is what your dreams are trying to tell you but you need to stop resisting it like stop planting so much doubt within your mind and and start to expect more good for yourself and i know it's hard when you've gone through things but <clears throat> you know now it's now it's about again it's about a new phase of your life it's about new karma new um a new story a new chapter uh, because karma means action karma means action that's why it's about um you know uh, getting back what you give out and i feel like you guys have a lot of good karma coming but you just need to learn how to receive it especially in regards to a romantic interest or a partner Again, there's a new level of commitment I'm seeing here or just some kind of peace and resolution being reached. So I'm going to get the next Oracle deck. So why does power number two keep dreaming about this person? What are their dreams trying to tell them? Please show me spirit. Surrender. I can release my need to control. Yeah, you guys are organized. Some of you guys might have OCD. And I know it's hard, but again i think you guys are also gonna benefit for the meditation i'm gonna link down below for group number one so you know feel free to check that out because it's about sur surrendering and releasing the need to um, control even though it's like you know for different reasons um you know group group number one was very different from you um but there's all there's they also had a theme of you know uh, releasing the need to control look purpose i know what i am here to do so keep doing what you're doing you're doing well whatever you're doing just keep doing it okay um this is what your dreams are trying to tell you keep following that purpose keep doing what you're supposed to do it's taking you on the right path and the problem with you guys is that um you keep doubting it you keep doubting yourself your capabilities and you know your trust in the universe okay there's a lot there's a lot here to do with nervous system regulation. I think some of you guys are, are, are looking into that, like yoga and, and just healing and stuff like that. Okay, grief. Ooh. You guys are scared that whatever good is going to come, that you're going to lose it. Oh my, oh my God. Yeah, so there could be some work here to do on your abandonment issues if you really want to take it a step, step deeper into... Um, into why you're dreaming about this person is because in a way they're getting you to face your abandonment issues so that you can fully enjoy life you know so you can fully enjoy the goodness so that you don't feel like when it comes you're gonna lose it or it's too good to be true or there's there's just a lot of negative beliefs here like that and i feel like it's because when you guys were happy in the past people shut you down um like in a very mean way like they just kind of burst your bubble with a pin um like i don't i don't like the energy i'm getting from your past to be honest with you um that that's just for some of you though i feel like it's very 50 50 um like some of you guys watching this would, would have had relatively peaceful childhoods and others of you very turbulent ones um so that's the energy i'm getting for this group here um let's see change okay good change is coming guys good change is coming for you I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. That's right. Okay. Let's get more cards for you, my love. 
And I just wanted to say, you know, if you've been enjoying this reading and, you know, you want to watch more of my videos in the future, I'd really appreciate a subscription as it does help me out. And, you know, thumbs, thumbs up button if you like the reading. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know how it resonates with you. I always love hearing feedback, you know. Perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. You guys need to believe in yourselves more. And if you if you keep dreaming about this person, it's because they're trying to get you to, to do that, to believe in yourself more. Because if you don't, you're, you're going to self-sabotage even the connection you have with them. Or oh, I know I know that's gonna that's gonna be like rubbing salt into into the wound for some of you guys. Like whew, I feel that though. I feel that. Okay. Why is group number two dreaming about this person? One last card. Show me please, spirit. Why is group number two dreaming about this person? Peace. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. Okay. Finding peace with whatever situation there was. So you can fully enjoy your future. So you can fully embrace your destiny. So you can continue being on the right path and on your purpose as you have been until now. So... This was my message for you today, lovely group number two. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your love, uh, for your energy, you know, I really appreciate it. And I hope you have a wonderful day or night, wherever you are. See you. Hello, my loves. Group number three, welcome to your reading. Whether you resonated with this moonstone or let's see the moon card, Luna, welcome to your reading. So why did you dream about this person okay and this is okay you're both thinking about each other here um you're definitely thinking a lot about them but i also feel like they're thinking about you this is why you're dreaming about them there's there's definitely a mutual like back and forth back and forth because i feel like sometimes you completely forget about this person and then sometimes they just pop right back into your mind and I feel like it's kind of like a tennis match between the two of you. <laughs> like creating this psychic telepathic link between the two of you. Because the moon, again, is the mind. It's the psychic connection. It's the emotional realm. And I feel like your dreams are very intense. They're very emotional. Could even have like, you know, 18 plus themes going on. Um, and it's, I feel like there's, okay, for all, group, for all groups, I was getting some kind of separation. But especially this group, I feel like there was some kind of either a volatile ending or just like something negative to do with um, your situation before going into separation with this person or just having little contact with them. There's something like that going on here. Um, and I think you're deeply, deeply attached to this person. And I think there's, there's a lot of, like I see a lot of uh, depth to the emotion and i see a very strong chord between you and this person like an energetic chord with you and them and if you you know i i see like a positive and a negative chord you know when you clear out the negative chords the the positive one stays always because to have a positive connection with someone doesn't mean to be attached to them and attachment will never be the same as connection because attachment implies that you want something from them or that they want something from you so if you want a connection with whoever you're dreaming about you need to do a cord clearing a cord cutting you need to clear this person out of your space oh my goodness some of you guys i'm getting like toxic toxic ex vibes toxic energy from the past could even be a toxic family member i don't think this person necessarily brought a lot of positive energy um into your life or if they did it was i i just see something short and intense if i'm honest with you um and, and I, I do feel like you guys think about each other a lot and i feel a very strong emotional connection here a very strong emotional bond but there has been some attachments in the mix um, you know, our egos getting involved with the situations and trying to make our assumptions on why certain things happened. Um, and, you know, that, that can get in the way of a connection when our ego gets involved. So I do feel like, again, you're deeply attached to this person. I think you guys also, you know, if you're a divine feminine, you get very intense periods, very intense cramps, and you have like a strong releasing process as well 
and I feel like the reason you're dreaming about them is because you're being called to re-examine your connection to this person, how you feel about them and how beneficial it is for you to keep thinking about them, you know, because I, I feel like your energy stuck in the past or stuck in dreaming of the future. Um, and, you know, the moonstone here, again, it's an energy of the mind. You've chosen the moon card and the moonstone. So your and your mental energy is heavily placed upon them and your emotional body is getting into an entanglement because of that. OK, so right now you focusing on this person is not benefiting you. It's taking your power away. It's you giving your power away to this person. And also, even though I do feel from their end, like, um there's a mutual um like them thinking about you and stuff it's definitely more from your end it's definitely more from your end and i feel like they're more fo they're more focused on themselves and i feel like the 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 moment you guys stop putting all your focus and your energy onto them and you and you do all the cord cutting that you need to do you do you know you, you do the emotional work and um and, and you know just clear out your emotional body connect into your womb if you have one connect into the womb space um it's going to be a very healing thing for you and and the moment you start to do these things you guys this is when this person will magically pop into your reality because you're ready to to face them from an empowered space but the universe is going to test you like are you really in your empowerment now or are you going to give your power away again Okay, I feel like some of you are dealing with a karmic care and it's like, are you going to repeat the same toxic cycles or are you going to step into this new empowered version of you? So the reason you're dreaming about them is because you have an emotional attachment to them, a very strong emotional. Some of you could even have kids with this person. Um, but oh my goodness. Okay, let's get the astro dice now. Please show me spirit. Why is group number three... Why is group number three? Tune me into group number three's energy. Why are they dreaming about this person? Why are they showing up in in their dreams? I feel like even you guys are super confused because you're thinking like, this was super toxic. What, why do I keep dreaming about them? And look, Aries energy here is volatility. Aries can definitely represent that. Okay, and with Venus being here, you love them. <clears throat> you still love them maybe some of you are, are surprised to hear that but it's true you guys still um you know you feel you feel for this person here Ooh. you feel for this person here uh you're strongly strongly connected to them and i feel like you guys need a resolution as to why certain things happen you need closure and if you can't get closure from this person i you know, there's always resources on the internet, on YouTube, meditations, where you can, you know, you can literally type in um, closure meditation or like get over an X meditation. Like these things exist and they do help. You know, don't don't be shy um, to to solicit the resources you need, you know. And with the 11th house being here, this is, this is a social house, okay? Uh, it's about social interactions your social circle you know so they are gonna come back around i've said this for every group because i feel it i do feel it like i'm not gonna say something i don't mean i do feel like you you're gonna but it, for you guys if this person comes back it'll be like a test for you um i wasn't getting that energy so much for the other groups but for you guys this feels like a test of your self-worth okay some of you could definitely be like water signs here specifically cancer energy because you know the moon rules cancer but i'm also picking up on sagittarius energy taurus energy okay scorpio energy i'm feeling it for this group here um you don't have to you know you don't have to be those signs but it's just the energy i'm picking up on here um I feel like with the 11th house being here, you're going to have some kind of fated meet up or encounter with them. Or like they're going to reach out to you like very unexpectedly um, or like impulsively. They'll choose to reach out to you or something like that. Whatever you're dealing with here, 
I think this person has a lot they want to say to you or they want like a new chance, a new beginning because Aries is the first sign. Aries is the first sign. I think this person and you know with Venus being here, they, they want another chance. And it's it's like this is going to come. Some of you guys want this really badly or you just want an understanding as to why certain things happened the way they did. And you get it. But first... You need, if you if you want to be in alignment with these things, with this thing, with this person, you have to cut the negative cords. You need to clear your emotional body. You guys are not thinking clearly. Your mind is clouded by all the thoughts and the assumptions you've made. And it's just so much emotion here that it's like, um, I feel like I'm being pulled into it as I'm thinking about it. Some of you guys could have like a Scorpio moon. Your mind's just going to place of obsessively thinking about this person. And guess what? The more you focus on them, the less the less there are the chances that you um you're gonna manifest them, you know. So put this focus back on you. You know, there's some people who are in the phase of their manifestation where they have to proactively um uh like journal and visualize and I think you guys have done enough of that <laughs> respectfully you've done enough of that like now it's time to do the serious inner work um when it when it comes to your feelings when it comes to cutting cords you know there's even meditations on that on youtube like i've done one on my channel as well uh if you scroll like all the way down <laughs> you're gonna see it but like you guys need to do that and and this is why you keep dreaming about them it's like you know if they were to come back how would you face them? How would you respond to them? Um, you know, would you allow them to take advantage of you? Are you responding from a place of power or disempowerment? Okay, so now we're going to get the angel oracle cards. Lovely. And we're going to ask spirit. Please show me for group number three. Why are they dreaming about this person? What is, you know, what are their dreams trying to tell them? For group number three. Group number three collective. Show me spirit. Group number three collective. Why are they dreaming about this person? Okay, so. We have two, 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 two. Feminine forces. Relationships. Balance. Prosperity. Efficiency. Patience. Humility. You guys are in your masculine energy. Or distorted feminine energy because distorted feminine energy when you know when the feminine is not in balance your emotions your hormones they're all over the place okay some of you could be like binge eating or like eating very unhealthy foods as a way to cope with your feelings and your emotions i'm picking up on that so for you guys the reason you're dreaming about them is because you're being called to be in your receiving mode you're you're being reminded here be in your feminine energy you want things to come to you but you need to embody that receiving energy, okay? And having your, your energy and your focus go out into all these different places is like you're projecting it. And and that's that's in a way masculine energy you're chasing. Oh my goodness, you guys. So you, you have a strong lesson here. Your dreams are reminding you um, to connect to your feminine power, to connect to that place of uh, receiving, Okay. Whether you're divine masculine or feminine watching this, you know, if you're a divine masculine and you're here on, the, here on this reading, it's because you need to learn to just, like, receive more. You know, you need to balance out that feminine energy with your masculine, okay? Why is group number three dreaming about this person? What are their dreams trying to tell them? Go back into your empowerment. Back in your feminine power. You know, especially if you're a divine feminine. Uh, what what are your dreams trying to tell you? Group number three. Let's see. What are your dreams trying to tell you? Show me the truth and nothing but the truth, spirit. There we go. The big break. We got this for group number two as well. Innovation, focus, creation, progress, forward movement, skills and goals. So for you, my loves, for you, group number three, this is about you letting go of the past with, with moving forward, okay? And you're going to get all the tools you need to move forward and to let go of the past. And, you know, letting go of the past does not mean 
necessarily letting go of this person and never seeing them again or something like that for some of you it could very well be to accept the fact that you know you want better things in life and it's about like you know just going through the grieving process of losing someone but for many of you letting go of the past means um you know on a mental level not being so attached to the past not being so attached to the future and what's going to happen giving yourself anxiety again when you guys do this energy work on yourself your energy will naturally be, be brought back into the present moment it will naturally be brought back into the present moment when you connect with your body when you purge out these negative feelings when you cut the cords watch how your energy comes back to you and when when you do when your energy is in the present moment things can come in including the person you keep dreaming about in i'm gonna say that again including the person you're dreaming about if you want them this bad honestly the the key is a paradox the key is to put the focus on you the key is to put the focus on you let's go why is group number three dreaming about this person please show me spirit why is group okay readjustments overcoming obstacles soulmates romance affection support and comfort so yeah this person could be your soulmate but you know it's like are you the version of yourself now that could face the obstacles which come with having a relationship with this person are you that person now are you giving the, yourself the support you need to be there for yourself even when this person can't be so first is about having that autonomy within yourself exploring where codependency lives within you okay and again as i said like a good way to let go of that anxious energy is to do energy clearing work research into that do, do meditations which help you to eliminate negative energies and to find healing your level of self-control is sufficient to make things right on the horizon is the possibility of beginning a new romantic or platonic friendship as well as a chance to begin life anew with a person from one's past everything will fall to pieces right okay so you will get the chance to be with this person again but only after <laughs> only after this your energy is put back on you okay you're worthy of having your own love and attention but you have to give that to yourself first because everything's energy so when you do that whatever you do to yourself you know you'll get mirrored back out into the you know the physical world i was gonna say the real world but everything is real everything is real it's just on on different dimensions and different levels of of density um but everything's energy everything's connected so when you put that focus back on you because we're all made of the same energy you know it's going to be reflected back to you people are going to give you the attention and love you desire when you do that for yourself to yourself first now i'm going to get the tarot why is group number three dreaming of this person what are their dreams trying to tell them group three collective spirit the four in reverse it's because you're focusing on the past way too much look holding back recklessness gullible distracted you're being very distracted you guys by the past nostalgia you know just do that shadow work do that he start the healing process now the sooner you start it the more these good things can come into your life including a second chance to see where things go with this person let's see ace of wands creative block lack of passion stagnant missed opportunity whatever's meant to be will be i'm gonna say that again whatever's meant to be will be including you being with this person here i know you guys miss them a lot but i'm i'm convinced that the universe will give you a, another test another chance to you know to gain touch with this with this person again to to regain a connection um but it's up to the two of you and 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 the choices and the actions you make as to how, how that's going to play out how that's going to happen and you know unless you're in a in a space of empowerment you're not ready to face that kind of challenge yet because the universe is not going to be so cruel to you as to give you something you cannot handle have you ever thought that maybe the distance the absence is is a way of being protected you know you're being protected because you can't 
necessarily handle it right now and you think you can because you're super emotional and you really miss this person but you can't you guys you need to you need to be back in your power and your clear judgment you know you guys are trying to protect you in a way from yourself you know you need to you need to give yourself and the universe the courage and the um the expectation that you know you you will be there for yourself no matter what that you won't abandon yourself that you make the correct choices for you and your own empowerment please show me spirit for group number three why are they dreaming about this person so again you want that person put that put out focus back on you Put that focus back on you. Let's see. Look. Ten of Cups. Happy family. Reunion. Happy endings. Marriage. So let's see. You guys get this Ten of Cups. How will you react to it? Do you feel like you're ready to truly receive it? You know? It's like you're dreaming. You're, you're having these dreams because you're... It's all pointing back to you. It's all pointing back to you. Um, And again, this it, it, it's... It's really a self-reflection process. So feel free, feel free to take notes here. Okay, so I'm going to go over that quickly again in, in points if you want to take notes. So what you need to do, you guys, if you want to either attract this person back or open yourself up to new opportunities, you guys have to reconciliate with the past. Okay, you have to gain some kind of closure and you need to cut the negative cords. Okay. Then you put your focus back on cultivating love, back on healing your nervous system, back on you, okay? This is what you guys need to do. And ask yourself, how are you blocking out? How are you blocking out the good things? And you know, for you guys, as I said, it's it's mentally. You keep, you keep traveling to different dimensions, being the present moment, so your energy is not all over the place. But when you're just centered... It's like now you have, it's like, do you see how when the energy is centered in one place, there's all this space around. Okay, like if you look at the screen now and you look at where my hands are, if my hands are the focus, you know, center point, everything else surrounding it is the space and the possibility of things that can come to me. So you, need, you guys need to find alignment within yourself. And if you want this person, they'll, they'll come to you, you'll get this 10 of cups. And it might not be of this person, but why are you not giving the chance to yourself to explore what you actually need and want? And, you know, and if, if this person is going to reflect that, that's really good. Um, but it's about finding standards for yourself, finding what you value, connecting to that. OK, this is this is strongly what I'm picking up on. It's about, um, again, you guys put in that focus that magical focus back on you because i do feel like you're very strong manifestors you're very strong psychics um and why don't you use that for your own good for once you guys give way too much to others including mentally so just put that focus back on you and just watch how you're gonna be a magnet a magnet okay so please show me spirit for group number three Why are they dreaming about this person? Happiness, and it's in reverse. It's because you need to find your own happiness within you. Again, I'm going to say that. It's not it's not something you want to hear, but it's true. Why is group number three dreaming about this person? And you're gonna be able to connect with that happiness when all the negative energy is gone. Patience in reverse. You're not patient with yourself, you're not patient with your own process, you just want the results. But the results are not gonna come without you being in the present moment of your process and of your journey okay and then friendship came up in reverse are you a friend to yourself are you a friend to yourself okay and if and if you are asking about a friend it's like what is it that you really want from this person like just 
I think for you guys, the main thing here is finding clarity. Just finding clarity within yourself is going to give you everything you want because this is your biggest lesson is finding self-worth, developing standards. Then when people show up, you won't even see it as challenges anymore. Okay, you won't see it as tests. You won't be scared of going back to the same old, same old. You know why? Because you're just so confident and you're and and, and this um this new way of being is just so embodied within you that no matter who, who comes, you know, you won't accept anything less than what you've told yourself you were going to accept. Okay. So this was my reading for you guys. I hope it resonated. I hope you enjoyed. And if you want to see more of my readings in the future, an easy way uh, to help me out and an easy way for you to keep up with what I'm posting is to, um, you know, subscribe. Uh, you can always leave me a thumbs up button if you, if you, again, if you resonated and let me know how, how, how it resonated for you in the comments. Let me know what you think. If you have any video suggestions, um, you know, you can let me know as well. I wish you all a lovely day or night wherever you are and much love.